Welcome to the second session of the syringe pump module. We will cover how to read a doctor's order and accordingly prepare the medicated solution in the syringe. The first step in this whole process to use the syringe pump starts with the doctor's order or prescription. The details are entered into the patient card, which looks like this. First of all, we have this date and time column. Next is the specified drug, which is injection dopamine. The dose column says 200 by 50, which indicates a solution containing 200 milligrams of the drug in 50 milliliters of the IV solution. Then we have our route, which is IV infusion. The frequency is 5 micrograms per hour. And at the last, we have the doctor's name, Dr. Hema, which is followed by the signature. These 5 milliliter ampules of the drug contain 200 milligrams of dopamine, and we will use them to create the solution. Calculating the flow rate for the syringe pump. There are some simple calculations rate to be entered into the syringe pump. This rate is calculated in milliliters per hour, which is micrograms of the drug times the body weight of the patient times 60. This number 60 is a constant as it is the number of minutes in an hour. This answer then is divided by the concentration of the solution. To calculate the concentration, take the milligrams of the drug in the solution and multiply it by 1000, which is a constant. This is divided by the syringe volume, which is 50 milliliters. If we were using a different capacity of syringe, then this number would be different. For example, if we used a 20 milliliter syringe, this number would be 20 instead of 50. Let us calculate this flow rate based upon the doctor's order. To do that, we need to first calculate the concentration. That number can then be used to calculate the milliliters per hour flow rate. To calculate the concentration, we multiply the number of milligrams of dopamine by 1000 and divide it by 50 as explained earlier. The 5 milliliter ampule of dopamine injection contains 200 milligrams of the drug. So we multiply 200 by 1000 and divide the product by 50. Thus the concentration is 4000. Next we use this concentration to determine the flow rate. We already have calculated the concentration to be 4000. The doctor's order was to give 5 micrograms. So the flow rate can be calculated as 5 times 78, which is the patient's body weight in kilograms, times 60, divided by the concentration, which is 4,000. This is 23,400, divided by 4,000. This equals 5.8 milliliters per hour. This is the flow rate that needs to be entered into the syringe pump. First, scrub in and wash your hands properly. Clean hands are essential to prevent infection to the patient. To do a proper hand wash, there are six steps. Before starting, remove your ornaments if any. Wet your hands using the foot valve to turn on the water flow. Take care to wet your wrists and forearms as well. Then. Take enough of the cleaning solution into one of your palms. First start by rubbing your palms against each other. Then one hand over the other hand with fingers interlocking. Clean each hand separately in this manner. Third, clean your palm to palm again with fingers interlocking. Then clean the inner sides of the fingers one hand at a time. Also clean the thumbs one hand at a time. Fifth, 
Clean your nail tips by rubbing them against the opposite palms, one hand at a time. Lastly, rub and clean your wrists with the soap solution. Wash thoroughly after this to make sure all the soap is washed off properly. After this, use the dryer to dry your hands. You could also use paper towels, but make sure your hands do not touch any surface. Preparation of items needed There are several items that are needed for diluting a drug. We have sterile gloves, a connecting tube, syringe, needle, three-way stopcock, drug ampoule, which we are going to dilute, and IV fluid and an IV set. To prepare the solution, you first wear your sterile gloves after hand wash and take the sterile syringe out of its packet. The IV fluid has already been hung on the stand and the stopcock is attached to its pipe. We connect the syringe to the stopcock and open it to draw in fluid. Since the dopamine injection ampule is 5 milliliters, we will need to draw out the balance to total up to 50 milliliters in the syringe. Hence, we will draw 50 milliliters minus 5 milliliters, which is equal to 45 milliliters of IV fluid into the syringe as shown here. Then, we close the stopcock to prevent leakage and take away the syringe. Then, we will take an antiseptic needle from its cover and attach it to the syringe. The doctor's order was to give injection dopamine to the patient. One ampule dopamine contains 5 milliliters, which is 200 milligrams. Now we will break the upper part of the ampule carefully. We insert the needle inside the dopamine bottle and take out 5 milliliter solution completely. This adds to the 45 milliliters of IV fluid already in the syringe to total 50 milliliters. As you can see, now the syringe contains exactly 50 milliliters of solution. After preparing the solution in the syringe, we will take out a connecting tube from the cover and connect it to the syringe. Labeling of the syringe is very important to make sure the drug, the dosage and the patient are clearly spelled out. The label says dopamine drug is being given and displays the concentration date and time, and the patient name. This label is written out and then stuck to the syringe in a visible area.